So looking around YouTube, I've noticed that a lot of people have talked about the ease of different virtualization software, but no one's actually checked out the performance of each. So today I thought I'd change that and we're going to start by looking at the most popular two which is VirtualBox and QEMU just to see which one actually gives you the best performance. And before we start you're probably wondering well why should I listen to this guy? Well let me tell you I am the top 21 in the all time karma posts of r slash gen2. Let's quickly talk about the host machine that these VMs will be running on. So it is a Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 core processor, 32 threads, it's got 64 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA 2070 RTX, but we won't be taking advantage of, and it's running on a Gen 3 NVMe Samsung 960. No slouch, but quite good to test on. All VMs will be running on 30 threads available to them, 60 gigs of memory, and whatever the default file system type is. So VDMK for um, VirtualBox and QCAL2 for QEMU. With that out of the way, let's get into the next stage. Let's set up VirtualBox first. So we click new, we set up our new machine, we'll just call it Gen2. All our machines are going to use the same um, the same ISO, which is the 20th of October. So we get that set up. We'll set a 20 gig hard drive for this using VDK, VDMK. And as we said before, we'll allow it to use 30 threads and 60 gigs of RAM. The setup is pretty much point and click. Um, and we'll also activate EFI on this one as well. Another thing, just to let you know, I've set up a second hard drive, which includes a SquashFS file for the 20th of October, um, portage snapshot, and also the stage three from the same date. That means we always know that anything we test will always be using the same. For QEMU, I am just going to use my bog standard command for that, which is a QEMU system, uh, enabling KVM, 30 threads, 60 gigs of RAM, and then setting up a QCAL2 system of 20 gig, which is using the Verto, Vertio, Vert, Vertio, we we'll call it Vertio. Uh, with cache disabled. Also again enabling um, EFI which I've enabled using hyphen BIOS forward slash um, user share e to EDK wherever that file is for the tiny BIOS thingy majig. Yeah you get it. I'll talk you through one of the installs because they're all exactly the same. First thing we're going to do is make the partitions. So that's going to be a CF disk um, forward slash um, for the disk drive. So it's VDA for QEMU and obviously SDA for um, VirtualBox. We are set up um, 512 megabytes for the EFI on both of these at partition one and then the rest of the disk which is 19.5 gigs for partition two no swap will be used on this after this we're going to make our file systems which will be bat32 for the EFI as per standard and XFS for the roots of the main partitions um, we'll then mount the second hard drive that Amount mentioned earlier. We'll copy over the stage file, which is from the 20th of October, and we'll also copy over the um, portage snapshot that I downloaded, and we're going to mount that inside of our um, char root once done as well. Once that's all done, we'll quickly install the basic tools. Now each system is going to get um, Gentoo kernel bin, 
sysck log d just in case we do it but we won't start that by default and we'll also download the file system um, benchmark tool fio as well once that's done we'll set up the um, set up a name so i can quickly find out we'll call the qem1 qemu and we'll call the virtualbox1 vbox i know talk about imaginative names Re reboot and then we'll look inside our systems and i think we'll start with file system testing first so taking a look at these we were getting about 2.1 gigabytes a second of read speed on the VirtualBox install and 3.5 gig on the QEMU one. Bit of a difference there, I would like you to think. Oof, I wasn't expecting it to be that much though. Let's check out the random um, write times. So for that we were getting 221 on 221 megabytes with VirtualBox and with QEMU we were looking at 235 so not much difference in that one but uh, <laughs> that read speed oof, that was something else so next we're going to let a, a GCC compile happen um, using the Gen 2 stock setting let's see how the two compare speed on that out in the wild wild west of code Virtual box and cam you made a bold show guns at their hips dust in the breeze two cowboys of tech brought to their knees virtual box hollered I'm quick to deploy setting up VMs like a child's toy but can you grin with a gleam in its eye with my power and speed I'll kiss you goodbye. It's a shootout at dawn in the tech frontier. Hypervisors clash. We'll see who steers clear. Virtual box versus KMU. Who's gonna win in this digital duel? Let's see who'll give in. Virtual box fired first, fast, and light. With seamless integration, it put up a fight. KMU shot back. More versatile, emulating machines with a wry little smile. They battled hard till the sun burned bright, switching and booting right into the night. Each trying to prove they're the best in the game in the world of VMs. Laying their claim, it's a shootout at dawn in the tech frontier. Hypervisors clash, we'll see who steers clear. Virtual box versus KMU, who's gonna win in this digital duel? Let's see who'll give in. Wow, it doesn't take a genius to uh, work out really what happened there. So what I was finding was is that VirtualBox kept crashing, or basically hard locking the VM. And the system was fine, but it was just the VM hard locked. I tried um, many different settings. Um, I tried lowering makeups, makeups in the um, in the VM itself. Nothing would get past. In the end, I had to drop the actual um the vm settings down to two cores to let this go through and i've finally got it through with a difference of 18 minutes and one hour 20 ish wow wow um yeah so what can we surmise from this wow qemu is the virtual machine you want to be using don't be using virtualbox now I'm thinking about going through these um, with all the different types of virtual machine software and comparing them just to see which one is the actual best for use for a normal user. But before I do that, I want to open it up to you guys. What other tests would you like to see in this before we start moving on to things like VMware and some of, some of your other suggestions? So why don't you drop in the comments, let me know what you thought of this one, and I will see you on the next one. Keep compiling. I make funny Gen 2 videos while also teaching you how to use it properly. If you want to help support me, then visit my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash imolo157. If not, just like and subscribe please, as it really helps with the algorithm.